What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, we, we had planned to do a, a bit of a top five draft prospects at each position uh with mike but he had some personal stuff come up so i still told craig i was like hey screw it let's let's talk nfl because the quarterback carousel is moving Moving. and uh very excited exciting ones already with the rivers retiring stafford in la like it's it's only going to get more exciting i am hoping for some draft day fireworks love draft day trades you know that love oh, yeah. them. i think they're fun i think it it's really fun to speculate and then day night one draft day trades are the best I, a lot does happen on day two and stuff but i'm not paying attention so like you lost me you lost me prime time because they didn't they, it's like nine days now it used to be two yeah, days it's a long time it, but it used to be two days cuba and i would like take off the weekend and watch the entirety of it and get shammered you can't do that now because it's like thursday night friday night i think and saturday Something like that. Maybe Sunday. It might maybe. be like it might be like Saturday afternoon, or it's weird. I don't know. It's, it's not just Thursday, Friday. I know mm-hmm. that, but I want to see some fireworks in the first round. I don't know that we will. We may just get thirty-two picks, but it really feels like the year some shit's going to go down. Yeah, I mean, it just feels this is the first time in a really long time where you you look at a certain group, like that that same top five we were talking about before, and you're like, that's their guy. And then you look at everyone else and you're like, that guy's a replaceable guy. Yeah. And they, these teams didn't ever have to have that level of conversation. There's, it's very rare that these level of quarterbacks are available. You yeah. Know? I mean, Dak's a free agent. That's, that's something that, that we didn't even touch on. He's a, he's a free agent. He can go wherever he wants. I can't drink enough Dak Kool-Aid, and I hope I'm right just because I want the, the guy to succeed. I think sleep numbers are great. Good for them. They partnered up with a good guy, Chunky Soup. Love that. Talent. His talent ceiling, we've not seen it yet, and I believe that. I don't think we've seen the most he can do yet. I think he's still raw. He still relies a little bit. I'm not saying he's as good as Pat Mahomes, but – He's made some throws. He can do some things. He can move. It's very interesting. If he comes back recovered properly, like back to what he was about to be, he was going to throw 5,000, 5,500 yards. He was on pace for an obscene amount of everything. Yeah. These are guys, again, Miami's never going to have, and I'm just going to keep tearing up, but I can dream. And he can be, he can be had for the dollars. He can be had. I know, but... I like Tua. I'm not trying to make it sound like I don't like Tua. And it's not that I'm not excited about Tua. It's just that Deshaun Watson and Dak Prescott have NFL proven excellence at multiple facets of the game. Tua right now only has wins that I can support him on. I can't really support him. He made some good throws. He made a lot of weird throws. A lot of ones that I was like, okay. He's throwing low. <laughs> Oh, because he doesn't want to throw picks, right? Right? He threw it at that guy's shin, but it's because he wanted to avoid the defender, right? <laughs> like, I I didn't love that. So I would like either Deshaun or or Dak, please, please, football football Jesus, please. Well, and then that that conversation leads into a whole nother NFC East conversation. If you take Dak out of Dallas, what the fuck is Dallas? What? Not boops. <laughs> boops. Boops. you had Andy Dalton there who up until this point is a quarterback. He's so, a guy that can throw the ball. Now he's not. Now he's not anymore. just a guy <laughs> that you have to pay a ton to stand on the sideline, look like a fucking doofus and be bad at football. He's a Jag, bro. He's a Jag. He's just a guy. Just a guy. Don't let him take a snap. You don't win games with Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton ruined AJ Green, who was yeah, that's correct. phenomenal talent. Yes. Broken now. Will yes. never be the same. Yeah. Thanks, Andy fucking thanks, <laughs> Rifle. 
tense red <laughs> rifle because you rifled AJ Green over the middle so much that you broke him. <laughs> no, fuck Andy Dalton. <laughs> We're at the that segment is that bleeped out. Fuck Andy Dalton. Fuck Andy Dalton. Damn it! I have nothing against the guy personally for anyone that was going to try to take it there, but but no, don't. He should not be a starter. He should not take snaps. He should hold boards, have the little thing on his wrist and the mouthpiece to say, That's guys, it. hey, we need a few Pepsis at halftime. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Where is your removing your Dolphin bias? Sure if you're right. Dak Prescott and you're not going back to Dallas, let's say Jerry's not willing to open up the checkbook for the first time in his life. Um, where do you want to go? We don't have state income tax here. I just want to say <laughs> that you get to keep more of your money. It's tough. You you would you wouldn't be able to say he's top five right now because with the injury and uh, that that unknown healthy, you're he he's at five six right sometimes four like you he's make gotta be you 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 just get that list out and you're arguing again with Lamar. You're making concessions with, okay, Russell won a Super Bowl. Got to put him ahead of it. But off raw talent or what he can do, he's in that certainly 5-6 space of, of in the league. And if he's coming back healthy and he's checking out, too many teams are going to want him. So that's why the, these guys won't get him because the, it, it's the same list that we talked about before with like one other team on it that wouldn't take the call. That, and because he's a free agent, you're saying it's now an agent call. Not even a team trading him. I forgot he was a free agent. So you're yeah. saying this, this man is open market right now? Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm fairly certain. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna double check. Make sure that I'm, I, that's I'm, so good for the league because I just thought he was definitely a a, a cowboy. Uh, nope. He. Oh yeah, because he signed the. Uh, they they franchise tagged him last year. So that would be up though. Yep. Can't they franchise tag him again? They can, but okay. it's an obscene amount of money. It's forty, I think. Well, if you double franchise tag, that number goes up. Yeah, you're right. They would own. Oh, I read about that. It would be closer to fifty. Okay, yeah, that is a lot. But boy, win for him if he scores on that. Yeah. He's too good. Damn, that opens up. God, this is gonna be. I'm excited for this year. I, I would say my my ideal landing spot for him. I think would be Carolina. Yeah. I think he would do well in Carolina. And I think they got some pieces in Carolina that are very reminiscent of some pieces in Dallas, Christian McCaffrey, that... Well, some receivers that... Uh, Samuel is there. Yeah. Another one that's good, whose name is leaving me at the moment. But, yeah, interesting. I did not even think of them because they're so irrelevant without Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> but he was so hurt. True. He was hurt. Oh, man. Dak on the move is making me um, – obviously, I'm going there now because I'm like, oh, that's going to be so fun. But it's going to make Dallas um, really bad for for a bit because – Yeah, they've invested a lot of time into those offensive weapons, and if you have a doo-doo quarterback, like – So you don't – It's is it – because no, you've been seeing more on this. Are they are the talks not about them giving him a four-year? I think that's all – I... I haven't seen anything about talks with them. I haven't seen anything about mm. them talking about a deal. And I know that they struggled last year to make a deal because Jerry wasn't willing to meet Dak's demands. And we did a, a podcast about what those demands possibly were. It was later proven that those weren't his actual demands, but nobody could confirm what he was asking for. So it was like, maybe he did ask for that amount of money. Maybe he didn't. Who knows? But what do you um, think he's now, now that we're a year removed, some other contracts came into play since that time. What do you think, Dak? What's Dak's market value? I'll go. I know what I want. And you go first. I don't know what the top, what the, the tip of the top is making. The tippy tip, technically. So if you're going Patty Mahomes, right? Average annual gets close to 50, but it's not, it's structured very weird. 45, it's, Deshaun's 39, Russell's 35, Ben's 34. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Rogers is 33.5. Goff is 33, five. Mm. I think he's worth like, 
I can't. I know you go first. He's got to be. In looking at this, right? If this, if these are the guys that it that you're your like, mind. yeah, it, I I don't put him above Aaron. But the only reason I might is because new money it ends over Aaron. Right. I was about to say new money. And Aaron's money. deals old. Aaron deals old, and he deserves a new one. What's his going to be? Kirk Cousins is making thirty three. Parsons yeah. making thirty two. Dak made thirty one four on the franchise. And Matt Ryan, yeah, and Matt Ryan's making thirty. You got to do thirty four five. I think he makes half a mil less than Russ, but that's that's the. I think he could reasonably ask for the Deshaun contract, the four one for one forty. Or no one fifty six. Four for one, yeah, one fifty six. I. Th- I think he could ask for that, and where I was going is four for 140 is a nice landing spot, which puts it right at, I think, 35, which is right where you were at. Yeah. I think uh, you, I think you that's can't. His actual market value. I think that's his real market value, and if he has a, even a, a halfway decent agent, he shouldn't accept less because he will get it. Oh, my God. Is Rodgers going to reset the QB market again I, in his next contract? He, he has to. He's, I mean, he's gonna. He's not done playing, and he just won an MVP. What isn't he only? Isn't aren't we going to see the resign coming? Because I, yeah, I think it's. I, I gotta. I would have to pull up Sport Track for that, but I always look at their contracts. That's a funny one because you're right. He set the market already. He signed a four-year, one thirty-four and eighteen. So there could be a. That was eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. He's under contract till 2024. However, 2020 is the final season with any guaranteed money. Right. So he has a renegotiating leverage, as they say. But yeah, he started. He he kicked off the mess of the of the 130 plus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then that makes that makes you feel even more sympathy for Dak when you see that Matty Ice is making 30k, or I'm sorry, 30 mil, and yeah. And that's not. Yeah, it's gonna get paid though. I, if it's not Dallas, somebody will. You you can't unless again I'm not looking at him running sprints right now. He broke I think some leg parts pretty bad. It's definitely some leg parts that were broken. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not watching him run right now. But if his rehab went well, these days the 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 athletes have robot parts. They have science. So. If AP could come back from, what, multiple shreds and Frank Gore can play with three reconstructed knees and Dak is worth it. I hope, I hope we can get somebody. If it's not, if it's not Tua and Tua, please do well. If it's going to be you, you know, either of those guys would be just great. To Sean or Dak would be really exciting. And Cuba hates that I feel that way. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, he's all aboard the Tua train. It would change the franchise. Tua needs at least another full season, if not two. And that's okay. Yeah, I really think year three is the year that, that they really kind of – you find out who they are. And that's – I'm holding off on my my Daniel Jones feelings. I, I yeah. feel like he's not the guy, but I, I want to give him another year. Like, Golden Tate's not – he's got nobody to throw to right now. Saquon no. went down. And they were like, cool, kid, try and beat double coverage on everybody. And Evan Ingram was like, what? Catch the ball? It just was a bad situation. A disappointment out of him. I was very high on Evan Ingram. I also was high on Evan Ingram. The, uh, they don't, you're right. They don't got no receivers. I'm hoping for some Demont- Devonta Smith love, but I don't think he lasts to 11. I don't think so. No, he didn't. He score nine touchdowns in the first half of the championship. Something it, like that. It was not, obscene. It was gross. I think he got hurt, but I think he had 200 yards and four touchdowns in the first half and yeah. just stopped playing. <laughs> he was like, I don't need to do this anymore. He's like, I won that thing. I'm probably going to be the highest drafted receiver in a while. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he got dinged up, though. But I, he's one of my guys that if we got him, and again, some of my Dolphin friends are like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they have Ted Ginn PTSD. You got to get over it. Uh, you got to get over every bad decision in, in football, in anything, business, life, whatever. We all make mistakes, right? So don't, I don't want to hear about Ted Ginn anymore. I, yes. Was he a bad seven? It was a seven pick. Yes. hundred percent. He ran back a, a kickoff in the national title and somebody swooned. 
but you can't dictate your life off the bad picks of the past. You got to assess each new draft with what it's got. That kid's special. Yeah, he's he's next level. So, all right, with that, we are going to finally wrap things up because we keep just talking about quarterbacks because there's so much to talk about, but we will be back uh, with some position uh, breakdowns, some I dark horse picks. wear a more reveal shirt. <laughs> no. Craig's just going to wear a fishnet. I'm regretting wearing it because look at, look at what's happened. Look, <laughs> look at that. I made this with my family. We have matching tie-dye. But, like... It was not the right shirt for the podcast. Do the audio only. <laughs> audio only podcast. Yeah, uh, guys, question. thank you for hanging out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you want us to talk about anything in particular. Uh, let us know what you want Craig to wear next episode, oh and he God, will wear it. He even does that. I will freaking do it. <laughs> I, don't, again, I don't know what the numbers look like, but if anyone, I don't even care if it's just someone you told to tell me <laughs> show me the comment send me a screenshot i will wear that <laughs> whatever it is he doesn't care i i do not i'm at my home i will i'm not i have no shame, I have no shame. <laughs> guys thank you uh like i said like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys next time